Hey yo interneters, welcome back to another video and I know you can tell from the title it is not no pin spinning video, it's a ballet song trick that I'll be learning today. And I think this trick is called the horizontal butterfly. Like the ballet song horizontal opening for like beginners. And if that's not what it's really called, like after you see me learn how to do it, please let me know down in the comments below and I'll just change the title. And so before we get into the video, I just wanna let you guys know that this is my first ballet song trick or like a butterfly knife trick. And so I didn't use a real like butterfly knife. I went ahead and bought a trainer version of it and basically it doesn't have a blade. I really don't wanna lose any fingers and then that will mess up my pin spinning. Uh, enjoyment there so with all that being said I guess we could just get straight into the video so basically how this opening work is you want to take the knife and hold it by the safe handle which is basically a handle that doesn't have a lash because generally if you have a butterfly knife that has a lash the blade is on that side and you don't want to cut yourself this is a trainer so there's no blade so I guess it really doesn't matter but you don't want to build bad habits right so yeah, you hold it by the safe handle and then from there you flip the knife over like this. From there you rotate your handle and then from there you just flip your thing over to the other side of your hand and then from there you just flip this back with the hand, uh, with the handle, ah, there we go, with the handle and then you'll be in this position. And of course, if you do the same exact moment, move again, flipping it over, flip it back, and then flip it down, the knife closes. So of course the mechanics behind doing this opening is not too bad, it seems pretty easy. And so our goal for today is to get our opening to look a little something like this. And from here, I guess we could just start practicing the opening. I'm gonna try and practice the uh, butterfly knife or in the basic openings. So um, I guess here's day one. It's something like that. Like that, but, but his look like this. And so roughly about several minutes passed from here, and I was starting to get the hang of doing the butterfly knife, but it wasn't smooth. It was still kind of choppy. And then, you know, as things were going pretty well, in my opinion, this happened. So like, yeah, I know what you're thinking, right? So like, why does dropping the pin like even matter? Well, after I dropped that pin, well, the knife, it kind of started getting stuck. And so, yeah, the pin, I mean, the pin, the knife is not like flipping as smoothly as it was before after that drop. I don't know what happened, but yeah, despite it wasn't being smooth, I still continue to practice. And the reason why is because I want to build up a muscle memory for it, because even though I'm doing like the steps on doing the opening, it's not as smooth because I'm always like thinking about, okay, so you do this, you turn, you rotate. And so it's like, it's not smooth. It's like pauses in between each step. And so about like 30 minutes passed, right? And I kind of got used to doing the motion or the steps on opening the knife. And I think it's about time to actually try to do this for real and try to make it as smooth as possible. But then you have the problem with the knife being stuck all the time. And I think now is the time we kind of got to you know, fix it. Like, you know what this thing need? This thing needs some WD-40. Works like a charm. And so yeah, with that WD-40, it added some, you know, a lot of smoothness to the knife. So yeah, it's like, oh, when I'm doing a slight flick, that thing is like flying right open. So that's good news. And so now I guess we can start getting the real practice in. Thank you. 
Yeah, after about an hour and a half, I managed to be able to do the opening for this ballet song trick. And I think it's not as smooth as the one in the video, but it's still good enough for me. And so, yeah, that's pretty much all I have for today is a quick video uh, because I'm short on time. So this was an easy, fun trick to learn in the short time frame that I have. And if you enjoyed the video, please make sure you show it by hitting the like and subscribe button. And like always, thanks for watching and until next time.